What's up, everybody? Kevin A. Creighton, the man behind King Size Diecast Customs. And if you're wondering why the name change, I was in a live video with uh, Diecast Greyguard, and we were just kicking back and forth ideas. It was one of those Q and A's, and he's like, "Eh, you got a good name, but it doesn't very it doesn't very well describe what you have, you know? Die King Size Custom what? So, that being said, I changed my name. And in the last video, I had promised you an unboxing, an RLC unboxing. Now, I put that car somewhere and lost it, but I got another RLC here. Let's blur the address, but you guys know, Mattel, Hot Wheels. Anyway, what I have for you right now is this. Now, I will take it out of the package, just out of the protecto. So, this. And, well, yeah. So, here's the thing. Because it's a car that I don't really plan on selling or ever intend to sell, Eat your heart out, scalpers. There's a little plastic shell as the car just hit the floor. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Now, I've been seeing a lot on the forums, on the RLC forums and the Facebook little packages little uh, Facebook groups that the hood doesn't shut great, blah, 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 well, I'm not going to buy it if they can't fix the hood, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, mine shuts perfectly, so. And honestly, I know Maybe you guys, some of us, get a little bit luckier than others. I haven't cracked my gold one, but I really do think my gold one doesn't have the hood issue either. So, there's a detailed engine. So, I don't know, guys. I can't tell you what to do with your collectibles, with your uh, Redline Club exclusive collectibles. Me? I like the cars. So, I'm still going to put it back in the package in the protect, though. I'm not going to... Say that it's a, uh, if I ever do intend on selling it, it's a opened collectible, but it's from a smoke-free home, um, you know, used solely for display. I don't see any cracks in the paint or anything, but it did kind of hit my floor, so. But for those of you who haven't seen one of these in person, that paint is amazing. I can't wait till I start getting into using the uh, Spectra Flame and other Spectra like paint. And then also, the details on these RLC cars are amazing. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you later. One slight small detail I had to add. So, I know I kind of went off on a bit of what would sound like a mean spirited rant. I don't mean anything towards anybody. I can understand. Again, it's your hobby. Buy what you like. Buy what you can afford. Um, I have had an issue with RLC in the past with uh, opening parts. My black Lamborghini Countach, the passenger side door does not sit perfectly, so it does not close. Now, for me as a collector... And kind of a guy who plays with his cars, yeah, I do take them out of the package and I do roll them around every once in a while. And I've got big plans for a layout. Not a big deal. I can work around that with my display. Now, being that these are cars that are a little bit more than your typical traditional collector, uh, adult collectible car, I can understand how you could be upset. That being said, try it. Find it. If you don't like the car, there is a market out there. 
not that I advocate the scalping, but, you know, I'm not going to tell anybody how to do what they do. The way that I conduct my business and I conduct myself, which technically isn't a business, it's a little side hustle. Anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. So, I'll see you in the next one. Have fun with your hobby. Enjoy it. So, that's all I got to say. Later.